<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome to yoga with uh, Jane, welcome. Um, today, I uh, hope you're doing okay, this is a great practice to do uh, anytime. Um, what I would like to think about in this next series of work that I'm doing is um, rather than sort of compartmentalise the body into arms, legs, spine, head, neck, whatever, shoulders, is that we're thinking more about um, integrating everything together. So whether you're new to yoga or you're an experienced um, yoga practitioner, um, thinking about the spine as the pivot for the body. So if you if you picked a skeleton up by its spine, you know, all the, the main joints and the limbs would would come from there. And likewise, our movement, we need to think about when we're doing movement with the hips or with the shoulders, that, that we do move from, from our spine. If you think about drawing a, a line when you're practicing, um, sort of a horizontal line to bring the body into lower body, upper body, and then think about uh, a vertical line coming down your midline, right and left. Okay, but don't get hung up on right and left. Let, let's work with, with not so much a feeling of, of segmenting the body. So if you bring that midline and that horizontal line, you come to your center which is sort of somewhere between the top of your lumbar and the bottom of your thoracic spine. But it is, of course, in your solar plexus where your core muscles reside. Uh, your inner core muscles reside further down, uh, behind the lumbar spine, lower down. But still we have here the solar plexus and we have the diaphragm. And this is your center. So in the join of those two uh, hypothetical lines, we find our centre and our breath begins there with the inhalation, with the diaphragm opening up the lungs to receive oxygen. So in your practice today, just I'll try and keep reminding <laughs> um, to work from, from here and, and from the, the front and the back of the spine. Yeah, the spine sits really deep in the body. So you, everything comes from there and the diaphragm is also attached to the spine, of course. Okay, so um, some people may call this a bit of a leg workout, but uh, let's try and, and integrate as much of the body into it as we can in a really fluid way. So uh, for practice today, I'd like you to have uh, one or two blocks uh, or some cushions or pillows, whatever you find helpful. And, uh, a strap or something that you can uh, bring in half like this, uh, a tie is fine, or you know, uh, a, a proper yoga strap is great. So uh, let's begin. Um, we're going to start lying down on the floor. Um, also, uh, I'm not including a Shavasana practice in this sequence. Um, there are some choices on YouTube for relaxation and I will be adding more over time depending on how long we're in this situation. So um, I choose, don't skip the last bit of the yoga session, it's really important. Um, but for this, you're gonna need your straps. So lie on the floor, I hope I'm projecting my voice enough, I hope the volume's good for you. Um, let's lie down. So just have the strap across your belly and just settle the body. Feel like you're spreading out from your midline, that your shoulders are relaxed, feet are spread out, and your body feels comfortable on the floor, supported on the floor. Take three deep breaths, starting with the diaphragm, just opening up the belly, drawing air into the lungs on the inhalation. And as you breathe out, let any accumulated tension just release from your shoulders and your hips and your feet and the hands. And gently just let your whole body deflate. Keep going, couple 
the deep ones, making sure you empty the lungs as well as filling up and just notice when you do those things mindfully, how long it takes and particularly the out breath we miss, we skip, we cut short. So just really feel that deflation right to the end. And then bring your strap around your foot to the ball of the foot, holding with one hand quite high up. You don't want to be holding the strap here. Even if your leg is bent and is here, you still want to come up reasonably high on the strap. But you don't want to be doing this. So you want all the shoulders, the shoulders on the floor. And you also don't want to be doing that. You want to keep the sacrum and the whole of the lower back really nice and flat on the floor. So just find your way with the strap. If you can just bring the toe in with the, with the first two fingers without doing this or that, perfect. <clears throat> so flatten all out. Just let the left hand rest on the belly and the left foot is supporting the body here. So on the in, just filling up. On the out, just working through the hamstrings, so just uh, lengthening through the Achilles tendon and just allowing that to open up. And feel as the Achilles tendon opens up, the back of the knee opens up and, and the temptation is for the sit bone to lift because the hamstring is attached to the sit bone. But you don't want to do that. You just want to just bring this nice movement into the foot, into the back of the ankle, just to open up the leg there. And a nice big inhalation. And then on the out breath, just slide that left heel. So slide the heel along the mat, opening the leg. So the heel bone is opening the back of the leg all the way up to the sit bone. And we just reach with it and then relax and take a deep breath in. And on the out breath, just gently draw that right leg in, just give it a little bit of a swing and working through the hamstring of the left leg, that's brilliant. Keep the neck nice and long, another one. Cool. Change legs, so support the body with the right foot. Take the toes or a strap to the ball of the left. And breathing in, exhale. So work your awareness through the Achilles, keeping the sit bone low. Don't wrench, don't push the knee out, just guide. And then on an exhale, work through the right and just keep working your awareness through the heel lengthening out that thigh pushing it down gently towards the floor and then with an exhalation of just working this leg towards you without arching the back keeping the back of the waist nice and flat so uh just supporting the spine there with the abdominals, but not hunching up the shoulders. Okay, excellent. So get rid of your strap, release that, and just bring the knees in, open up the hips, and make your way up to standing, yeah. So grab a block. Stand on it. So just, you know, you're bicycling, I, I'm subconsciously bicycling my knees here. And then just settle the heels on the floor, spread the toes out, and notice whether, you, you know, what your posture's like. Just relax the knees. Think about lengthening up through the belly lifting the sternum, and then let's sweep the arms up. Inhale, as you do that, really open up the front of the body. 
and exhale the arms down. Relax the back of the body, so you're standing up a bit straighter. Let's do that one more. So think pubic bone to, to uh, throat. Lift. Feel the skin. Lift the ribs up and exhale. Keep the height, keep the posture, but just let the legs relax and the shoulders relax. And you've kind of done a hamstring stretch that is not fully. Just take another two breaths here. Take the right arm, inhale, exhale, left in and out. And come back to blocks. Just put that to one side. Take a step the left foot back, very long. It's called Ashta Chandrasana. So notice the difference between this and warrior one here with the back heel on the floor, yeah? This is much longer, a bit more looser. You wanna make sure this uh, knee is aligned over the ankle here and that the toes of the back foot are on the floor. Let's take the hand to the hips. Nice and stable through the front foot, yeah? So breathe in and out, relax the shoulders. In and out. Another, this time, take the hands together, take them back and drop the neck. Reach away with the left heel. Breathe in. If you've got your balance, look to the hands. And then all the way down with the arms and bring, hold on to the forearms. Breathe here. And then lifting all the way up. Spread the fingers really strong and come up to straighten the front knee and then just bring the left foot forwards and hang down in a tanasana. So just working through the feet there. So coming to a little twist, let's take the left hand onto the floor and bend the left knee, sweep the the right arm up, take it away, so the left arm is straight, and then come to the other side, right arm on the floor, stack the shoulders, breathe, and roll up. Lift the arms and bend the knees at Katasana. And coming up, stepping the left foot forward and taking the right foot back. Okay, hands on the hips. So, finding stability, yeah. Uh, just making sure that front foot is nice and glued on, that the base of the big toe is down. Lift the arms, breathe in. A little bounce there. And exhale. Open the chest. In and out. Breathe. And take the arms down and then inhale take the hands together and take the elbows up and the hands down breathe there drop the chin the gaze and again inhale and exhale take the forearms and take a breath there, reaching away with that back heel. All the way up. Just 
step forwards. Ragdoll, Uttanasana. Take the fingertips to the floor. Palms. Kneel. Down dog. So just again thinking about your center. Breathe in from the navel outwards. Exhale, draw in there. Feel how the pubic bone and the pelvis want to tuck as you do that. Allow that. In breath, open. Exhale, draw in. Another. Try to find a neutral spine, spread the hands out, nice soft knees. Deer pose, elbows drawing in and walking forwards. Fly up. So you guys coming to chair pose and not dipping into the lumbar, keeping that nice and uh, neutral. Taking the hands together, staying in uh, at Chetasana and twisting, and allowing the arms to open. So really get your feet, pelvic floor, hands together, lift, exhale. Twist to the left. So the right elbow is coming towards the left knee and then opening the arms there. Just using the hand on the floor to rotate through the space between your shoulder blades. Come back with the hands together and lift all the way up. And exhale. I'm just uh, shaking the shoulders out. So a really easy movement there, touching the tops of the shoulders, finding some back swing, loosening everything. Excellent. So coming wide. Let's have the feet straight. So the inside edges of the feet straight, cool. In, out, engage the core. Flat back, find your spine, find your center. Drop down, move your shoulders, move your legs. Excellent. So first twist, up on the hand, rotate. Just wrap this right hand around, maybe it will come to the thigh. Don't push it, do what feels right for your body. Just leave the hand up here. Or even, I've been doing this uh, recently, uh, just bringing my right, the heel of the hand to the sacrum there. So it's just to keep the pelvis pointing down, which where it should be, the rotation should be coming through the upper body. So just putting the hand there just to stabilize things, quite nice. And then coming to the other side. Right hand, even weight through both feet. Twisting between the shoulder blades. Taking the heel of that hand to the sacrum. Working through the vertebra much higher up the spine on the rotation. 
and then coming sweeping down with the left hand. Right side. Left hand all the way towards the outside of the right foot. Push up into that hand. Breathe. Sweep down and across to the other side. So be mindful of this opposite foot, yeah, that you're not rolling it, that it's nice and even. So you're not pushing the hips back. You've got your sitting bones aligned with the heels. And now to the forearms. Left. Keep the core, just be refining the core on the out breath. Right side. Both forearms on the floor, shoulder width apart, hands together. Like a really wide dolphin, yeah? Breathe, release. Hands to the hips, come up. Keep the core engaged as you come up. And then find the squatting position. Inhale the arms. Yana mudra near the legs. Breathe. So we're holding. We're turning the arms, palms facing back. We're opening them. In breath. Exhale. In, come up. Out. In, Yana Mudra, thumb over the first finger, elbows into the ribs, exhale, five here, pelvic floor strong, try and relax the inner thigh muscles and use the pelvic floor to support the pelvis and the spine, two more, All the way up with the arms. Exhale. Let's have the arms swinging and then all the way up and all the way up and squat. So the hands are open. Take the little and ring finger, put the thumb over it, form prana mudra. Five breaths. Four. Three. Two. One. Finish. Release. All the way up with the arms. Exhale. Lift the right arm. Trikonasana. Breathe. Take the hand away. I've already done this once this morning, so just taking your time again, thinking about maybe putting this hand on the sacrum to keep it nice and stable. Just staying with the breath. Not dropping forwards. Lifting the arm. Coming up. Feet. Push through them. Reverse warrior. Other side. All the way up. Left side. 
breathe. Use your feet, use your spine. It's irrelevant really what the arms are doing. It's all in the spine. So lifting the arm, wrapping it. Breathe. Very good. Stay there. Trying to find comfort. Pushing up. Feet, core, reverse warrior. Looking into the hand. Relax that right shoulder. Standing. Well done. Let's shake the arms out. Okay, if you need to release your lower back, do some lower back release. Let's just do a nice series of bands. So you're going to need your strap again. So do uh, Padanga Svasana, which we've already done on the floor with the strap. So put the strap over your shoulder, take hold of your right knee and balance there. So you're not doing this. You're hunched over. The standing leg is straight. The arms are straight. The crown of the head's pointing straight up. Your center of gravity is firmly down your midline into your left leg. So if that's enough for you, stay in that balance. Have something to support yourself. So if you're next to a wall or a chair, so if you're using a strap, low down, inside the knee, opening up. Hand on the hip, left hand, or take the arm out by your side. Stay there. If you can get the toes, work with the toes. Breathe there. Relax the shoulders. crown of the head, heel, so find the space between the crown of the head and the heel, and then release, and bring the knee through, hold it, so uh, dance the preparation, take your, I hope you can see this, take your left hand and your left arm and bring it straight and flat here, palm down. I'm not going to do the full pose, just balancing here. Focus. And just open the knee a bit. So you're not coming down, you're just gazing down that leading hand, knees together and just taking the knee back a bit by gently pushing the foot into the hand. Breathe there, feel confident. Breathe. Good job guys. Soften the standing leg. Bring the knee through. Take the foot onto the thigh and jolly. Feel the stretch at the back of the right hip. Keep the spine long, the heart lifted. You just move the right foot a little bit and relax the knee. Stay there, breathe. So you're here. Relax this foot, yeah? And pushing through the standing leg coming up and bicycle. You should feel that work in both legs, the standing leg and the active leg. Right, so right side with the strap or the toes. Lift. And use the arm to help you. Breathe.
So don't lift the sit bone up, this left one. Keep it pointing down. Really important. Pelvis is nice and grounded there, yeah? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so coming into dancer then. So I'm just for the camera. <clears throat> left leg, hold on to the foot, knees together. Right arm, palm down. Be stable. And when you have your stability, just opening up the back leg, but not dropping the chest, keeping the heart lifted, gazing down the middle finger if possible. Then bring the knee forwards into a counterbalance, counter pose. Hug. Left foot on right thigh. Abdominals and core strong. Thumbs into the sternum. Watch the lumbar. Keep supporting it with the core. Gazing down quietly. Relaxing the left foot, knee and hip. And lift. Come out. Bicycle. Just take a rag doll with the lower back. Let go there, breathe there guys. Take your time. Coming down to the floor, all fours. Down dog. Settle. Spread the feet. Soften the knees. Find your spine. Spend a little bit of time in down dog, playing with the core, but keeping the shoulders relaxed. Okay, so this is a bit out there. Take the top of the right foot, just stretch it out. Left. Both. Bend the knees. And drop the knee. Come to kneeling with the toes tucked on. So camel. Let the shoulders go. Bring the hands up, take them back. See how this movement lifts the sternum? It kind of gets you in the vibe of the pose, yeah? Okay, so some of you out there will be really flexible and you'll be able to do beautiful back bend. Those of you who are stiff, you just work here. Okay, so you need your glutes. Put some padding under your knees if you need to, if this is aggravating them. Toes tucked under just for the moment. You work at your own pace. Stop when it gets too much, all right? So just think about the shoulders, shoulder blades, drawing the elbows in, the hands, beautiful on the sacrum, exhale. Okay, so if that's enough, stay there and breathe. Or take the right hand to the right heel and stretch the left arm up and stretch back with it. Come back. Back to here, left side, open, open, move, and pose little child, 
exhale. Deep breathing into the belly. Take your time. Back up. Down dog. Now back onto the tops of the feet and coming back to kneeling. Ostrasana, exhale. Breathe. Glutes. Lift the sternum, pelvis back, exhale. Now hands forward. Walk the hands back into Shimadasana, into a lion pose. Hands spread out like two big paws and exhale. Draw in everything, navel, pelvic floor, abdominals, heart, chin, tail. Inhale, soft arms but don't bend the elbows. Perky heart, open sit bones. Two more rounds, exhale. In. In, bar forwards, drop down, elbows on the floor, hands together, breathe, let go, and just come to sitting. Come to a better konasana. And so you're not drawing the heels back towards here, just a nice uh, diamond here or a square, however you look at it. Hands on the shins, yeah. And then bring the hands into Anjali. Breathe in. Exhale, draw the knees towards one another, push the hands together, feel the core engage, inhale, open the hands, exhale, draw in, in, out, one more, and exhale there and just bring your hands together, thumbs in the palms, just looking peaceful there. Breathe. Hands to Anjali. Bring the right heel in. Sorry, the left heel and then bring the right heel. Just put the hands on the knees. If that's uncomfortable, just sit comfortably. And let's just take a deep breath in and fill ourselves up with what we need right now. What is it that you need to help you along? 
or to calm you down from hurrying along. We need to stay grounded, we need to stay sensible, we need to stay vigilant, but we need to open ourselves to new possibilities, new opportunities, and not be frightened. Do that for me. Inhale. Lots of confidence. Open the eyes. Look at me. Lots of confidence. You can do it, yeah? Anything. Ask for help. Make your heart big for others, but big for yourself, yeah? You know where I am. If you don't know where I am, and you'd like to, um, I will be sort of getting myself together a little bit more technically, and hopefully there might be a little link at the end of the video, possibly. <laughs> anyway, uh, namaste, and um, take care of all. I'll see you soon, yeah? Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.